Hello again, everybody. Shanette here on the Magical Server of EverQuest 2. I thought we would finish up the living room by making a custom uh, cabinet or chest of drawers or armoire or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so for this, I will be using a wide variety of materials. I'm going to make this one a little bit fancy. So I'm going to start with the base. I'm going to use a sumac stair, make it kind of wide. And then for contrast, I will use a blue marble block, half block, and sort of make that a little less wide, and then sink it down a little. And then to add the top, another sumac stair. And you can make, when you're doing these, you can make this as wide as the base or a little smaller. I usually try to make them just about as wide. And then what I like to do is sink them down so that the blue part shows sometimes. Or, for a cleaner look, not. <laughs> and then for the sides, I'm going to add a narrow divider of sumac and scale it up just so that it covers the blue block. Sink it. Repeat on the other side. And then once you do this, two things you want to do before you do anything else. You want to make sure it's even on both sides. See it is not. One side is wider than the other, which means this block needs to come over a little bit. And then you can make this a little smaller. And that should even it out. Oh yeah, much better. Even on both sides. And then the other thing you want to do is check the other side in this other room. And make sure you don't have bleed through. Make sure it's not sticking through the wall. Okay, and then you're ready to make the drawers. And for that, I like to take a stair. And you want to make them just wide enough so that they uh, create horizontal lines to look like divisions. Like so. And then repeat and make another drawer. And then make them a little smaller so that they're... Okay, that needs to be a little bigger. And this can come down some. And then you want your lines for the drawers to look even. Okay, then we're not going to need this after all. Okay, so then for the actual drawers, this is something creative you can do. This is kind of a different look. I like to use these Frostfell sconces. These are the regal ones that I'm using. Make sure those are centered. And then you use heading to flip them until the candles are hidden. Like so. And then I'm using white pawns. You want to use pitch to flip them. And you can use either side of the pawn for knobs, but I like using the bottom. and kind of center those with the the middle part of the sconces there. Probably make that a little bigger. And 
the last one. And there you've got some fancy drawer handles for your fancy cabinet. Okay, and then for the top, I'm going to add this rug to look like a placemat or a runner or whatever, doily type thing. And I'm going to match the lamp that we made over here. Sink that down. And there you go. And also, for this one, since you can uh, not feasibly sink this into this wall because it would just go through over here, I'm going to hide this one in the cabinet. And that gives off a little bit of extra light because these ironwood lamps are lovely to look at, but they aren't all that bright. So the Tupton lamp will just help sort of live in this corner up. And there you go. You may find a nice painting to put right here because that's looking a little bare. But for all intents and purposes, you now have a lovely living room. Okay, well, I will see you guys in the next one.